Recycle wrapped. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? What's with the bored faces? Probably because we are bored. Ooh, it's hot. Too hot to play today. Then how about we go to the lake for a swim? Oh, I bet it'll be too crowded in this weather. Everyone will be there trying to escape the heat. Everyone? We don't know for sure. Jerry, can you go check? Uh... I could, but I'm so comfy up here. Please? Yeah. Okay, okay, I'll go see. <gasps> Holy moly, look at that! Jerry will show us what's happening at the lake. Breaking news on the jerry cam. No crowds, but not a great place to swim either. That looks awful. We can't just leave it like that. Well, we could pick up the litter all around the shore, but what about the trash in the water? We have to think of a way to help. I've got it. Build a raft first, then we can use it to cast a net and catch all the floating trash. When we're done, we'll take it all to the city's recycling center. Hey. I don't think we'd all fit on it. Plus, we're really heavy. We would sink it. I know how we can fix that. We can use a bike. I saw people do it on the internet. We'll make the raft move by pedaling the bike pedals. What? what? But how? Check this out. Here's the raft, and in the middle, we'll put the bike. It'll make it move. I'll sit on the bike and pedal, and Katie will cast the net. And we can all build the raft together. That's a splendid idea. Hey, so what did I miss you guys? We're building a raft to help clean the lake. Unky, mm -hmm. it would be great if you could go and find some fallen trees in the forest and bring those back our way. Chuck, you can shape those into usable <laughs> logs and then hook up the bike to the raft. But what about the lily pads and other flowers in the lake? They're very fragile. If any of them ended up in the net by accident, they would die and it would simply be terrible. Then wherever we see flowers, we'll just use our hands to pick up the trash. Joe, you can help watch us from the shoreline and make sure we don't miss anything. And me? This isn't fair. I want to help clean the lake as well. You'll be our eyes in the air, monitoring the entire cleanup process from above. <laughs> Fine. I am a better watcher than a clean upper. Go, go, Turbozors! <laughs> float, taking into account, of course, the weight of the bike, the kids, the raft quality, uh, the, uh... It floats! It floats! Hooray! It's great that now they can scoop up all the trash and make the lake clean. And you doubted it! I only had some minor doubts. Sure. Huh? One more plastic bottle over here, and another one over there. Uh, hey, you missed one. Uh-huh, looking good. Watch out there. You're getting close to the lilies. There's a tin can just beside them that needs to be picked up. More trash spotted to your three o'clock, kids. There, too. Ah, this is a lot of hard work. 
Now Chuck can compress the trash down and we'll take it to the city's recycling center. You guys, I just remembered something important. We forgot to go swimming! Tower power! Be careful with those cups, sweetheart. Anyway, the trees looked so lovely in the park. Wouldn't it be wonderful if someone built an observation tower? Just imagine, everyone could see the trees and the whole city from above. I have an idea. You know that old water tower near the train tracks? We could make it into an observation tower. Gloria! So what's on today's agenda anyway? Jerry, I wondered the same thing. Today, we're gonna relocate a tower. What? Well, tower? What kind of tower? What tower? I mean the water tower. Come with us and I'll explain everything. When you need a friend, Turbozors are always ready to help, buddy. <laughs> So this is the one. Yep, that's the water tower. Pretty nifty, huh, you guys? But that water tower is even taller than Chuck. How are we gonna lift that? I got this. Just leave it to me, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast, Chuck. I've got everything planned out. We'll take it step by step. Now let's see here. Okay, Thor, you clear the whole area. Then Chuck and Unky, you remove the roof. Then, Chuck, you take off the rings, and Thor, you free the foundation. Chuck and Unky can take the tower apart and load it onto Bull's platform. That's a nice drawing, Peter. I couldn't have taken a better picture. Everything clear? All right, then. Go, go, Turbozors! Using your bucket. <laughs> okay, extend your boom. Someone should grab these. We don't want to lose them, do we? Don't worry, I can do it, no problem. Go, go, Turbosaurs! Well, maybe it's better if I just take some pictures. Pretty low bridge. I don't think Chuck can fit under it. I might have an idea. Check this out. My, what a strange place for a water tower, right in the middle of a crosswalk. And is that Peter and Katie behind it?
Hello? I just saw Peter and Katie in a truck behind a giant water tower. <laughs> and I think the tower was moving. What? Come with Grandma. <laughs> Looks great. Another job well done, you guys. Oh, oh, so it was really great really cool. yeah. work, everybody. I know you can find them, Toby. Aha! We found the tower. I knew the little guy could sniff them out for us. Peter! Katie! What's going on? Look, Grandma. Some builders put up an observation tower like you talked about. You don't say. Why, it was only this morning I mentioned it. And here it is, right in front of me. So wonderful. Just look at that. Not too shabby, right? I don't understand. Why do you want to draw Chuck? Well, I'm just practicing. I get that. But you know that there are other ways of practicing. For instance, you could try drawing someone like me. Here we go again. What? First off, I'm handsome. And secondly, I'm uh, uh, very handsome. Thirdly, uh... <laughs> ah! Jerry, don't you have anything else to do? Didn't you recently get yourself a brand new lens? Well, why don't you go and try that out? <laughs> I was just about to go do that! <laughs> you know, that's a good idea. You can let him go. Right. Let's test this brand new lens and see what it can do. Okay. I think this tree is going to fall down soon. <laughs> Who's this little buddy? Did you fall all the way down from this nest? So what am I going to do with the three of you? So the tree is falling over? And the nest is in danger? Yeah, the chicks are already falling out of the nest. And if I hadn't been there, they would have been goners. I think we all need to head over to that spot and check it out for ourselves. I'm afraid the tree isn't going to hold much longer. Do you think we can transplant it? I think that's possible. Ugh, cut it out. We're not trying to cause you and your family any harm. I'm afraid it won't be that easy to explain it to her. Please stop it. See there, she won't even let us get anywhere near that tree. So we need to lure her away somewhere and then cage her so that she won't get in our way. I bet we can use our neighbor Charlie's cat carrier. Totally. Bird. She's just worried about her little babies. You just need to have a little patience. We'll get everything done quickly and then let you go. Go, go, Turbozords! Here 
are your orders. Jerry, carry the chicks out of the nest. Thor, you and I are digging a new hole for the tree. You forgot about me. You have an important task. You need to keep an eye on the chick's mother. Chuck, you need to hold the tree still while we are digging up the roots of the tree. You pass the tree to Unky. And we'll take it to its new spot and plant it. Can I let her go? The poor little mother is so upset. Everything's finished. You can let her out now. All right, let's get out of here so we don't upset her even more. I think that actually turned out really well. Jerry was able to test out his new lens and save the nest. Hey, you know we had a hand in that too. We all had a hand in it. Yeah, but I was real close to getting pecked. I was in real danger. <laughs> <laughs> what are you all laughing about? You all know that that's the honest truth. Joe, tell them. And you know Thor was attacked, too. <laughs> the Beaver Investigation. I'm gonna catch you. <laughs> I gotcha. Heads up. Now look what he did. Let's go apologize and get the ball. Hello, sir. I'm sorry this happened again. So you're the ones who damaged my shed. No, sir. Our ball. It landed in your yard again. Ah, uh, that. Mm. Oh, well take it, of course. Is everything okay? Here, see? There are teeth marks. It looks like something gnawed away the whole corner. Some kind of, <laughs> of dinosaur. Give me a break. Dinosaurs are totally extinct, aren't they? <laughs> We all need to figure out who damaged his barn. But how? Judging by these, the animal came from the forest. I say we scour the woods and figure out what animal these came from. Would you look at that? You find something? I know those. They belong to Kitty, Mr. Charlie's cat. No way it can be him. <laughs> Kids? I'll hold the trunk for you. Hooray! Now I see what happened. Those tracks were from beavers. You see? They're the ones that can gnaw on wood like that. But beavers live near the water. That's where they build their homes and dig their holes. Why would they ever want to ruin Mr. Charlie's shed? I get it. The water level rose, flooding their dam, and then went pouring into their homes. So now they're looking for a new place to live, but can't find one. You mean they weren't pests? They were just trying to survive? Of course they were. Those poor beavers. If they don't find new homes soon, they'll be goners. We're just gonna have to help them. First, we'll build a side channel. That way the water level will go down. I'll dig it myself. Thor, you clear away the ground. Joe, you level the earth. Unky, you put the parts of the dam back together. Chuck? <laughs> Fine then, you keep an eye on the cat. <sighs> go, go, Turbozords!
But what about Mr. Charlie Shedd? Got any ideas about that? I think we can repair that too. Just as long as the owner doesn't see us. Mm. We'll have to work doubly hard. Unky and I will bring over the trees the beaver's not on. Chuck, <gasps> you can help put those in place. Yeah. Thor and Joe, get that ground level. Jerry, I have a special task for you. Fly over to the pond and give it a look to see if the beavers are back. Over and out. Go, go, Turbozords! Got the best news ever! Have the beavers returned home? Yep! Everything's gonna be fine now. What is it, Kitty? Had a nice walk? Mr. Charlie's back, everybody! Oh, Turbozors, come on and hide! <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I'll have to call some workers. I can't fix the shed myself. Hmm. Oh! Sorry, sir. It's time we get home. Yeah, of course, kids. Have we all gone crazy? <laughs> yeah, maybe we have. Eco Bridge! Hmm. They said they'd meet us at 10. Maybe they're just sleeping in. Good morning, guys. We're ready for our lessons in road traffic safety. Let's do this. Hey, what am I going to do while you guys are learning? I don't use roads like the rest of you. My highway's the sky, so I don't need these lessons. Everybody should still learn it. Don't you walk near roads? Yeah, if I have to. I've used a sidewalk before, maybe. OK, let's learn about all the different road signs. Katie will hold up a sign, and then you guys can tell us what you think it means. Does this one mean to keep driving straight ahead? That's right. Watch for people on the sidewalk. Yeah! Piece of cake. These signs are all obvious. Every sign you've shown so far has been completely self-explanatory. Let me try one. Time to build a fence in your yard. Nope, not quite. That sign actually means there's a railroad up ahead with a barrier. Uh, well, sure, I almost had it. You guys have fun studying all your road signs. I'm out. I prefer to learn things from a more aerial perspective. Whatever floats his boat. Please, go on, Katie. Aww, sweet little duckies. <gasps> ah! I know this one. It means you should keep an eye out on the road ah, for... Uh, ducks! Ducks crossing the road! You sure? I think it looks more like a deer. I was flying, and then I saw a duck! With some ducklings! A car almost hit them all, but I saved them! That's awesome! And actually very heroic! Maybe there's a way we can make the road safer for animals to cross. What if we built something that could help them over? I've got an idea. If this is the road, we can make pillars on each side and a platform up on top. And leading up to it, we'll have those, um, those, what are they called? Ramp. So then we'll take these ramps, put them here, and top them with soil and grass, plants and stuff. It'll be ecologically friendly, too. And earlier today in the woods, I saw some fallen trees on the ground. I bet those would be perfect for the bridge pillars. This will look great from the air. As someone who doesn't use roads, like me, of course. First, we should find those fallen trees and take off all the branches. It's not an easy job, but nothing is impossible. Go, go, Turbozors!
We should put up a road work ahead sign first. One sec. Jerry, Joe, can you guys watch the road? You can let us know if anyone comes this way. You can always count on me to be your eyes in the sky. Thor, let's dig some holes in the ground for our bridge support. Chuck, if you could lift the pillars into the holes, that'd be great. Unky, you can carry the logs to Chuck to make the bridge. Bull, you can cover the bridge with dirt for the animals. Go, go, Turbozors! looking awesome. And tomorrow we can bring some seeds and plants to put on top. Since nobody's watching us right now, think I could be the first to test it out? Yeah, go for it. Ha! I got some great shots of our bridge, but it's missing something. Wait, what could it be missing? A road sign to warn people of the Animal Crossing. After all, we should use all our road safety knowledge, shouldn't we? Great idea, Jerry. On it. I'll have chocolate, and strawberry, and vanilla, and... Jerry, do you really think you need all of those flavors? Hmm, yeah. I mean, have you seen how tiny those portions are? All right already. You have all the ice cream you want. The portions are the opposite of tiny. What happens if it makes you feel sick? Ha! No, I never get sick. I am the healthiest pterodactyl who ever existed. <laughs> Fine, we'll go get the ice cream. And you should stay put. No offense, but what if someone sees? A drone who loves ice cream? Okay, I'll stay put. You two, pick up the pace. <gasps> and banana, guys. I can't believe I almost forgot banana. Earth is that? <laughs> if Jerry gets sick, then you're the one to blame. Come on, he's had ice cream before. He won't get sick. Where'd he go? <laughs> Jerry! <laughs> I'm so stressed out. I I just witnessed a whole chunk of Riverbank fall straight into the water. And then I saved Toby. Some might call it a heroic act. Are you making this stuff up? How can you ask me such a thing? I'm the most honest pterodactyl in existence. Just follow me and you can see for yourself. Now I see what you mean. We can't just leave it like this. Yeah, but how can we fix it? We'll level out the bank and make it stronger. Look, special eco blocks that reinforce riverbanks. And then we can make them with our wonder printer. Right, Jerry? Uh, it's not an easy job, but nothing is impossible. There's only one problem. If we build up the bank, what about the plants? If we cover them with blocks, they may not survive. Well, in that case, why don't we just move them? And once we reinforce the bank, it will be safe. Plus, it'll be a beautiful place to spend the day. Sure is an awesome plan, Peter. You print out those blocks and I'll get them down to the river. Once you take care of those plants, Thor, you can even out the bank. And Unky, you strengthen it. Chuck, you can load the blocks onto my back. Go, go, Turbozors!
And then we can build a barrier over the water. Just like this. Chuck, you stay here and keep the base hidden. Yeah, sure. But why do I always have to miss the fun parts? There's another one over here. Uh-huh, I got it. Joe, are all the plants safe and sound now? Not to worry, Thor. Check out this garden. Then let's hit the ground running. Anki, a little straighter. You're just about there. That's it. As per usual, I do all the heavy lifting. Ah, beautiful. Right, Bull? It's excellent work, team. And excellent work deserves a reward. I'm pretty sure I know what's coming. I'm pretty sure I do, too. <sighs> what could be better than sitting on a brand new riverbank, admiring the sunset? Uh -huh. Well, the only thing that might improve the situation is a little ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> and what's so funny about that, huh? Nothing's more serious than ice cream. <laughs> slide, slide, Turbozors! Where are you taking me? Just wait and see. Come on, Unky, why won't you tell me where we're going? I've never been to this part of the forest before. There it is. Wow, what in the world is it? I don't know, but whatever it is, it sure is interesting. I discovered it yesterday quite by accident. Isn't it neat? It's a slide of some kind, but it looks like tubes. See? Huh? This is a perfect place for hide and seek. You didn't tell anyone else about this place, did you, Unky? Nope. As a matter of fact, you're the only one I've told. Huh? Well, let's keep it that way. We could make this our very own super special secret playground. Rule is, only you and I get to play here. That way, nobody else will bother us. Hey! Um... Huh? Uh, 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 so bored. Uh. Uh, you can say that again. Hey, I know. Why don't we play a game? But we've already played everything. Football, tennis, duck duck pterodactyl. <gasps> Where did everybody go? Hey, Joe is right. Where are they? It's Chuck. I'll put him on the big screen. Peter, am I clear? Okay. This is Chuck with a special report. I'm broadcasting from an unknown area. A well-kept secret until these two guys stumbled upon it. What do you suppose that thing is? It sure does look odd, doesn't it? Jerry, think you could fly over and see what you can find out about it? Copy. Now to upload it, and we'll see if we can find it on the internet. Of course, a water park. You're right, but there should be a swimming pool there somewhere. The tubes are so you can slide into the water. That sounds like such fun. It really is tragic to see it in such a sad state. Weird thing is, they started building it, and then they stopped. Who knows why? But I bet you we could all finish it together. Gee, you really think we can? I don't see why not. It's not an easy job, but nothing is impossible. Now let's see here. First, we'll have to dig, you know, to make a hole for the pool, and then replace some of the rustier parts. Peter, you seem to have forgotten something. Water. 
Where will it come from? We'll build a canal down to the lake. You know, like this. See? It looks like we've got our work cut out for us. But we'll have our very own water park. Okay. Bull and Thor, you dig the hole for the pool. Chuck, you remove the rusty structures, but make sure to leave the ones we can still use, okay? I'll use a 3D printer to fill in the parts that are missing. Unky, you load the parts onto Joe, and then Joe, you drive them over. Hmm. Ah, well, I guess you don't need yours truly. Well, that's fine. I won't help you build your fancy schmancy water park. But this dinosaur refuses to be ignored. Don't worry, Jerry. I have a job for you to do as well. You take some aerial photos so I can work out the best route for the canal. Go, go, Turbozors! Yeah. Joe, Katie, and Chuck, you three move the plants so nothing gets damaged during the excavation. Bull, Thor, Unky, you guys can dig the canal from the lake to the water park. Jerry, your job is to make sure the canal follows exactly the route that I drew. On it! That's it! Perfect! Very nice! Uh, hey, hold on a minute! Why are you stopping? Whoa! <laughs> sure, I get it if one prefers the deep, but I am a creature of the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a creature of the air, all right. <laughs> of course I prefer flying, but this is pretty heavenly. <laughs> <laughs> the Abandoned Railroad. Hmm. Hmm. You look really great, Joe. Nah, these flowers don't really suit me. I need something with brighter colors, something that is... Yummy to eat? Beautiful. That could be a problem. A lot of the flowers aren't in bloom in this area. <sighs> Just typical. It's a large forest. I'm sure we'll find something that's beautiful for her. Jerry, Thor, Unky, let's go find some beautiful flowers for Joe. Oh, but I haven't had my breakfast yet, or even my lunch, or my dinner. Thor, getting your exercise in before breakfast is a good thing. Hey guys, look what a lovely flower I found. Where are you going? I just did a whole lot of exercising, and now I want to eat. Huh? huh? <laughs> Thor, what's wrong? I tripped over some rails. What do you mean? Rails? In the forest? Huh. Rails usually mean there's a railroad. Have you seen a railroad around here? I haven't seen any railroad. <laughs> But it's there. You probably just bumped into a log and thought it was a rail. I don't see anything here except a bunch of dry leaves. <laughs> see? Told ya. <laughs> this is impossible. Or is it? Would you look at that? <laughs> News, everyone! We just found a pair of old railroad tracks and a steam engine. 
Is that really real? You think we could ride it? I bet you could once, but after all this time, it's probably rusted over. I think it's adorable. If only we could repair it. Joe, I'm afraid repairing it is probably impossible. Nothing is impossible. We can just construct a modern new engine. And then? And then we'll lay rails down in a circle and we'll have our own fun train ride, just like at an amusement park. Jerry, take a look around so I can decide what we should do next. One moment. We'll need sleepers, more rails, a train signal, and an engine. We can make them with a 3D printer. Bull, you will transport them to the site. Thor and Anki will move the fallen trees out of the way. Chuck will install the engine before laying down the rails and the sleepers. And I'll dig up and move the plants so they won't get damaged. Go, go, Turbozors! It's time for this train to get a deep clean. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Tomorrow, our train will embark on its first journey. But who will be the train's conductor? Well, I think I should be the train's conductor. I want to wear that fancy cap. Yeah. So exactly which parts do you pull and which ones do you push? Jerry, if you want to be the train's conductor, you have to learn how to drive it, right? Ha! Huh. Hands up if one of you knows how to drive a train. <laughs> well, that's just great. Our train isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Don't worry about it. The train will leave tomorrow just as planned. You have my word, I promise you. A long time ago, I once had a job on a train just like this as the assistant to the conductor. <sighs> what fond memories. Hmm. Enough of that. Time to go. Lead the way, my assistant. that Mr. Charlie used to be a train conductor. He told me about it. He said he really misses his old job. I filmed everything. It's our third time watching it. Katie, those are beautiful flowers. Mr. Charlie grew these flowers in his garden and told me I could have them to share. And we both thought you would look very beautiful wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> the tree house. That? Your car's only good for giving kitties rides. Check out what ours can do. <laughs> Ta-da! So what? Our drone is a lot cooler. <laughs> a really old model. Prehistoric, actually. Well, apparently, this year I'm getting something really special for my birthday. Something you don't have. Yeah? And what's that? It's a treehouse! The best one ever! Right! So if you play your cards right, we'll invite you over. Possibly. Did that little guy call me prehistoric? You know what? I think he may be right. Jerry, don't let them bother you. They're so annoying. We should teach them a lesson. Yeah, I agree. But how? Why don't we build our own treehouse so they can't show off? And our friends can help us. Huh? 
It's not an easy job, but nothing is impossible. We can make the treehouse parts with the printer. Then we gotta put them all together. Let's get this organized, people. Jerry, choose a suitable eh. tree, will ya? Thor, you're gonna clear the area below it. Okay, so you'll print the parts. Unky will load them onto me, and Chuck will put the house together. Hmm. Go, go, Turbozors! It's coming, you guys. Hide, quick! Look there. What on earth is it? What do you think it is? Thanks a lot anyway, I guess. What does it have to do with me? Okay, who made up the story about me getting a treehouse? Now they've got a treehouse and I've got nothing. But if we break it, they won't have anything either. I like your thinking. They're gonna destroy our beautiful little tree house. Relax, I've worked out a plan. What is that? I think it's the wind. <laughs> 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 Think we can join you guys? I thought you said you were gonna get your own tree house. About that, we're not getting one. He made it all up. But I always dreamed about having a tree house like yours. Okay, come on up. But remember, fellas, it's not nice to lie to friends. So now we have a cool treehouse and Boris and Bruno don't. I don't think that's fair. Not a problem. Okay, guys, I've got a job for you. Over. You have such a great treehouse. We want one just like it. Hold on. You need two treehouses? What? I mean, you already have that one. Check it out. I can't believe my eyes. It's magic. Hooray! <laughs> A quick road fix. Huh? Uh. <laughs> Peter! Katie! Jerry, the kids can't come today, remember? They're going into town with Boris, Bruno, and Aunt Nora. They said they have tickets to see something at the movie theater. I remembered. Force a habit, you know? But how could you go to the movies when the weather's just perfect for playing outside? And I heard tomorrow we'll have even better weather. But movies can also be a lot of fun. For who? Fun for them, maybe, but not for the poor dinosaurs stuck in the woods. I miss them already. I'm just gonna fly over and watch them from afar. Hey, you should let us watch too. You're not the only one who wants to see. Oh man, I hope the bus isn't late. 
I don't want to miss the trailers or worse, not get any popcorn. I wouldn't worry about that, Bruno. The bus is good about keeping a very tight schedule. Oops! Get back here! You're staying with me today. You'll have fun playing with Grandma. And how about ice cream? <laughs> Well, end of the line. Someone should come and repair this road right away. We'll be late for the movie. Oh, huh. looks like they're on it. Repair team will be out here in an hour. Huh? Yeah, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. <laughs> it looks like our friends have run into quite a problem. They'll be here in an hour, so the bus will be fixed up in two to three hours. But our movie starts in 10 minutes and we'll miss it. Well, this day's turning out great. Just amazing. But Aunt Nora, let's call the theater. You could tell them to stop the movie. I don't want to miss the movie. Peter? Hmm? Our road to downtown has collapsed and it's a real mess. We saw that. Jerry showed us on the cam. If we don't get this thing repaired quick, we'll miss the movie. Bull, you're in charge of everyone today. I know we can count on you. I saw the chaos with my own two eyes! Maybe it was an earthquake, or tsunami, or tornado! The road is completely wrecked. The kids will miss their show! Calm down, Jerry. The road was probably just washed away by some groundwater. I don't remember seeing water around. Then why'd you say tsunami? First things first, we'll need a pipe to get the damage under control. Chuck, Joe, we won't need your help on this particular project. You can keep an eye on everything from here at the base. Jerry will broadcast everything. Oh, boom! Our talents are best used elsewhere. If you change your mind, I'll be here. We need to clear the damaged section of the road away from the area. Then Unky will install a pipe so that water can flow safely under the road, preventing this from happening again. I'll cover up the pipe with dirt, and Thor, you can make the road surface nice and level. It's not an easy job, but nothing is impossible. That's true, Unky. Go, go, Turbozors! No sign of these repair guys yet. There's no way we're gonna make it. Don't worry, looks like help is here. I could have done a better job leveling that. And I'm actually the best pipe player. Okay, take your seats. Let's keep moving. <laughs> All done here. Maybe next time. was really amazing, and I loved the songs. Know what I'd like? More movies about road repairs. Well done, but next time Chuck and I will take care of everything while you relax. <laughs> and Jerry will film it. Oh, come on! So everybody else gets the day off except for Jerry? I want to talk to the manager. <laughs> <laughs> Drone competition! Hey, did you know there's gonna be a drone competition in town? Uh-huh. And we gotta tell Jerry. I heard everything. So what do you have to do? They'll see how far you can fly and how good you carry cargo. That sort of thing. I simply love carrying cargo. First you grab it, fly with it, ow, and try not to damage it. Jerry. We all know nobody can fly as far as me. Are you also getting ready for the event happening in town? <laughs> uh, 
Obviously, we're getting ready. Well, our drone's better than your drone. <laughs> Yours couldn't even keep cargo safe, I betcha. Forget them. We're gonna get in a lot of practice. All right, we're out of here. We'll see you two losers soon. <laughs> okay. A map of the area. All right then, wind speed. And now, the weather forecast. The forecast said there may be thunderstorms today. You know what? I don't feel like you believe me. I'm gonna win this trophy. You guys just wait and see. Are we gonna be able to watch the competition? You sure will. There's excellent parking nearby. All right, go, go, Turbosaurs. <laughs> well, good afternoon, Mr. Charlie. Are you, perchance, taking part today, too? Yes, hello, children. I decided to have a little fun with everyone. All right, everyone, it's time for today's spectacular main event competition. Has it started yet? Don't think so. Hide. I promise we'll let you know when it's time. <laughs> huh? Thunderstorm. Quick, find some cover. <gasps> back and nobody's heard from him we've got to find him we have to search the surrounding area go go turbozors we have to save jerry it's not an easy job but nothing is impossible huh i've got an idea let's build a slide with the ramp attached unky can climb that and get jerry Thor and I will make the slide. Chuck, you strengthen the ramp with more concrete. Go, go, Turbozors! Get to work, you guys! <laughs> Wait, that's not Jerry. That's Bruno and Boris's drone. Jerry's calling me. Jerry, where are you? I'm trying. It's kind of hard. No connection. I'm sending you my location now. The signal's pretty weak, but now we know where he is. Let's go! Absolutely positive those coordinates are correct. I don't see him anywhere. I know, but he's got to be here. He could have fallen through the manhole, got stuck somewhere. Well, everyone, there's only one way we'll find out. Thor and I will dig up the pipes, no sweat. Unky will pull them out. Chuck will check them. Go, go, Turbozors! <laughs> Oh man, if you guys had any idea what happened to me, I got tangled up and then the wind blew me away. I mean, I almost died. I don't know everyone. How can I ever believe in myself? Huh? Ah. They're redoing the drone competition, but I don't think Jerry should risk his life again. No. Are you kidding me? I'm the bravest pterodactyl on the entire planet. Guess your faith's restored. <laughs> Ice cream works wonders, doesn't it? Alright. 
desert island. Hey, you two. Where are you guys going? We're going camping, of course. You know, like a real hiking trip. Be back in time for lunch, you two hikers. Camping? That sounds awesome. But isn't it supposed to rain today? That's why we have a tent. Mm -hmm. And it's waterproof, too. <laughs> This pack is so heavy. I'm tired. Come on. Real professional hikers can carry their packs a whole week or more. Oh, now we're going to get caught in a rainstorm, just like Katie said we would. OK, we'll pitch our tent here then. So great. We're really camping now, Bruno. I sure hope the boys are doing okay. Probably soaking wet. It looks really deep. And we don't know how to swim. I just want to go home. I'm getting really hungry. Don't worry. There's got to be food somewhere. We'll hunt for it. Past lunchtime, and the boys still aren't back yet. I'm getting terribly worried. Maybe you could look for them? You both know the forest so well, after all. Don't worry, Auntie Nora, we'll find them. <laughs> Here, Katie, bring them some pies. They must be starving, poor things. And take one for yourselves. Thank you. We'll be back. And they didn't come back for lunch. We've got to find them, guys. Oh. Jerry, can you scope the area? Mm -hmm. Search and Rescue Dactyl reporting for duty. should have packed some snacks. I brought a flashlight and a compass. You can't eat a flashlight or a compass either. Yeah, we gotta find those kids and fast. It's not an easy job, but nothing is impossible. Now look, here's the island. Here's Boris and Bruno. Water's all around. Now this is the lake. We can build a canal and drain all that water there into the lake here. This is awful! There's been a terrible disaster! A catastrophic flood! The kids are totally cut off from the mainland! Calm down, Jerry. We've got it figured out. Now it's time to begin Operation Boris and Bruno. And pass these homemade pies to our hungry hikers. Boy, you know what I'd love? One of Auntie's pies. Uh, huh? Okay, let's dig that canal. Unky, you clear this fallen tree over here, so it won't be in the way. Bull, Thor, you two start digging. Jerry, scope everything out for us to make sure we're on the right track. Just follow me, you guys. Dig straight in a northeast direction. Go, go, Turbozors! Feels like I hit something solid over here. It might be a stone. We'll have to dig it out. It'll take too long to dig around it, I'm afraid. Chuck, we need your help. Give Bull a hand, will you? Well done, Chuck. We'll take it from here. Can't let you be seen by Boris and Bruno, can we? Uh, you mean I have to stay here by myself? I'll stay here with you, Chuck. We can watch what happens together. Help! We're over here! Help! Please help! Hey! We're stranded over here! Save us, please! Home, 
So we figured you needed help. We sure did. But I wish the rescue squad guys hadn't left so fast. We could really use some help with these heavy packs, you guys. An autopilot rescue taxi should be here any minute. So then a rescue squad came and rescued us, and here we are. And guess what? They dropped us the most delicious pies from the helicopter. And they were so good, I could have sworn you made them, Auntie Nora. Hmm. Chuck, the celebrity! <laughs> hey, guys. What are you all up to, huh? The usual. We were watching a movie. But we stopped watching. So what? Uh, is the movie over? Nope. But our good friend Chuck walked up and blocked the whole screen. Oops. <laughs> ah, my precious tail! So heavy. I really wanted to see how that movie ended. You see that, Chuck, old friend? You're just very big, and you have to be more careful and attentive. That's right. Quite big and very heavy. And at times, awfully clumsy. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm really big, heavy, and awkward. And I get in everyone's way. <sighs> What's up? We're headed into town for a technology expo. You want to join us? Oh, Chuck, what's with you? Aren't you coming with us? I don't want to get in the way. <sighs> I think I'll stay here by myself. You're never in the way. But if you think you'd have more fun by yourself, that's okay too. I'll go walk in the forest. That way, I won't get in anyone's way. Huh? <gasps> Where on earth am I? I've never been here before. Now what's that over there? It looks like they built this wall to collect a lot of water in one place. I think it's time I take a closer look. Wow, I don't hear anything. Now that's a good wall. Well, that's not right. No big whoop. I'll just... <laughs> Leak eliminated. <laughs> Who was it that said that I was clumsy? Look at that! I didn't even know there was an artist in my family. It's a disaster! Go, go, Turbozor! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Its headlights are incredibly tiny. They won't see anything in the dark. Look at this one. It's probably afraid of the dark, right? And this one here looks just like Chuck. Ah. Chuck must be bored all alone. Why don't we give him a call? That's a good idea. Chuck, come in, please. Chuck, come in. Clearly, Chuck's in the shower. Our reporter is broadcasting from the scene. Check this out. The dam is on the verge of failing. If the wall collapses, the city may be flooded with water. <gasps> Do you see that? Those are totally Chuck's feet. But where's the rest of him? Chuck's right there. He's the one holding the wall to keep it from collapsing. And he needs our help immediately. Let's go. 
Hold on, Chuck. We're finally here to help you, buddy. Oh, hey, guys. I'm so happy that you're here. No time for delays. We've got to block the flow of water and help Chuck now. Do you see that stone there? We'll use that stone to plug the hole in the dam. First, we need to set up some supports. Here's what I've come up with. Unky, you prep some logs for the supports. Bull and Thor, you clear the ground and help out with Unky. Jerry, you monitor the situation from the air. Go, go, Turbozors! Okay, quick, put the stone in place! In there, that'll hold much better. Chuck, you really are so strong. And so mighty. Congratulations, Chuck. You're a celebrity now. They even showed you on TV, you know. Hey, can I have your autograph? <laughs> Space flight! <sighs> Check it out! Look what I found! Some campers must have forgotten it. Hmm? That's a space rocket! <laughs> you can use it to fly to the stars and other planets! And that's not dangerous? We have absolutely no idea what's on other planets. What do you mean we don't know, huh? Look right here, we've got drawings. Looks like we've got relatives hanging out on other planets. And that one there looks like me. He could be my uncle. Holy cow, he's got an uncle. Or an aunt, it doesn't really matter. But I want to visit them. Come on, guys, we don't even have a spaceship. But we know what they look like. I'm thinking we can build one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'll be the world's first pterodactyl to ever fly in space. <sighs> 15, yeah. 18, then 25. And there. Great job. You did 25-ish squats. Now for the push-ups. Are you saying I can't be an astronaut without push-ups? That's right. There's even drawings. <laughs> what can I say? It's not an easy job, but nothing is impossible. Go, go, Turbozords! You know what? Our spaceship turned out pretty great. I think I want to fly to other planets too. Yeah, but for you we'd have to make the ship five times bigger. Hmm, six. Where exactly is our astronaut? Our astronaut is wiped out. <sighs> our rocket is ready to fly. Jerry, be careful, will ya? Don't worry, I'll be quick. It's easy, just there and back. Time to begin the countdown. So, five, four, three, two, and one. Launch! <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Hey, what's up? Where's the fire, smoke, and all that? How come I'm not flying yet? Huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, whoa! What's everyone up to? We launched a rocket into space, but it didn't make it. I wanted to become the world's first pterodactyl astronaut ever, but nothing worked out the way it was supposed to. We built a rocket that looked exactly like the picture. So what went wrong? This is a really cool rocket, but there's no way it could have made it. It has no engines in it. 
Space rockets have really complicated ones, too. No way we could have made them ourselves. Well, there you go. I figured. Mm. Cheer up, everyone. I have an idea. Let's set this rocket up in the park so that kids can play astronaut. Sounds great, Katie. But first, we gotta take it apart, move the parts to the park, and put them back together. Go, go, Turbosaurs! Joe, shine your headlights. Chuck, Unky, start putting the rocket back together in its new spot. Jerry, make sure the rocket is completely vertical when we set it up. Go, go, Turbozors! Okay, got it. But I can't see anything. The rocket's tilting to the left. You have to straighten it out. All right, guys. Great job, everyone. <laughs> I've been wondering, do deep sea submarines have engines? I want to be the world's first pterodactyl to... <laughs> what are you all laughing at? Secret base. Positively gorgeous morning. Yeah, a perfect day for that photo shoot I've been planning with you. Joe amongst the flowers. Joe romping through the woods. Joe mm -hmm. swimming in the What's swamp. That? You must be crazy. What? Swamps are great. I did a shoot with some bullfrogs recently, and they were very happy with the results. Huh? Come in base. Come in base. This is an emergency. We're on our way to meet you. Don't go anywhere. What's going on, kids? We saw a report on the news that they're planning to build a brand new road around the hill, right through our forest. Show them, Peter. As planned, the new road will run through the existing forest. Several dozen trees will have to be removed to make way. And now the uh -huh. weather. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This isn't good, kids. Our base is right near where that road's gonna be. If they build that road right through the forest, we'll have to hide. This is a disaster. Well, that's it, I guess. Later, Peter. So long, Katie. It's sure been nice knowing ya. Goodbye, flowers, trees, rushing rivers. Goodbye, sunshine. <laughs> Don't worry, Jerry. They haven't built it just yet, and we've got an idea. We want them to build the road through the hill instead of around the hill, so we'll build a tunnel. Hey, that's a genius idea. You mean I'll still see the sun? Sure, Jerry. It's not an easy job, but nothing is impossible. We'll just have to wait until nighttime. Once the workers go home, we'll sneak in and start building our tunnel. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, what are we waiting for? The sun's going down. Let's build this thing. First things first, Jerry. Slow down. Bull, shut down the base. Let's do this. <laughs> Go, go, Turbozors! Anki, we've got to get this stack of concrete slabs out of the way. There's some space over there. Now we need to clear out these rocks. Chuck, that's a job for you. Where should I put them, boss? Put them somewhere nearby. We're gonna need them later on. You 
should be more careful with your work. That pile's all crooked. Neatness counts, you know. Well, maybe you could carry some rocks. Show me how it's done, Jerry. Jerry, I've got a job for you. Keep an eye on the road. If you see anyone coming, give us a signal. Hmm. Thor, we're ready for you. Time to start digging that tunnel. Bull, scoop up these rocks and some soil and spread them along the road in a thin layer. Red alert! Red alert! I think I saw a hedgehog! <laughs> Jerry, a hedgehog's not going to be any trouble. Yeah? Try bumping into one when they're trying to take a nap. Oh well, back to work! Okay, guys, it's time. Joe, when it goes completely dark, put your lights on full blast. Go, go, Turbozors! Try pointing those headlights where you're supposed to. I'm practically blind here. Okay, just a little more to go. Now we'll make use of those rocks over there. Let's make a support. Oh, and we also need to put up a sign showing the height of the tunnel. Jerry, head back to base and print out a sign. Hmm. Ah. Ah. This morning, a crew of workers made quite the discovery. They were surprised to find a tunnel entrance. That's right, they're unsure what it is, uh -huh. but the road will now run through it, leaving the forest intact. Remote possibility. Hey. Land on me. I want to have lights, too. Oh, no. It's late. Gotta get home. Wow. I got here fast. Come on. Open. Oh, no. My locket's gone. Uh, hey, guys! Uh, come on! Let me in! Uh. What? Anki? Why can't I sleep in Peter's room? You won't fit through the door. What if we built a bigger door? Oh, no. Go to sleep. We'll look for your locket in the morning. Can I have a glass of water? Uh, uh. Nobody's answering my knock. This is where I fell. It's got to be here somewhere. There you are. We've been looking for you. Where were you all night? He stayed with us last night. I lost my locket. <laughs> the base is haunted! <laughs> no, not haunted. Somebody found Unky's locket. They must be nearby. The lockets don't work long distance. Arm out, beep. Arm in, no beep. It beeps when it's near the trees, huh? Uh, That's pretty cool. Wanna trade for it? No. no. Bruno, Boris. Did you forget you're supposed to be cleaning my garden? Sorry, Sorry Aunt Nora. Nora. I know it's a nice day, but you promised. It would be so nice if my garden was ready for planting tomorrow. I don't want to work today. Me neither. Have we got a deal for you. But it's gonna cost you that locket. Clean it and till the soil. Got it, guys? Yeah. Got it. Got it. No problem. 
<laughs> yeah, easy peasy, uh, you know. <laughs> You'll wake everybody. Okay, let's get started. Shh. Go, go, go Turbosaurs! did a bang up job. It's beautiful, even if it is dirt. What are you guys doing? Making sure Boris and Bruno keep their end of the deal. Mm. You even did my planting for me. That means ice cream in town. Mm. I'll get my purse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, pay up. Maybe we want to keep it. Aunt Nora doesn't know you guys did this. She will if we show her these pictures. Huh? Uh. Bet you'll be more careful next time. <laughs> big feats, big trouble. Looks like fun, guys. Yeah, but let's clear these before. Whoa! Whoa. Look out! <laughs> <laughs> Good thing it's squishy by the creek. Haha, <laughs> it sure is, Thor. Let's see if the kids want to play with us. Hey, I heard something. This way. This story says that scattered branches and boulders are a sure sign that big feats are near. Look, Boris, there. Hmm. This says that the next sign to look out for is strange tracks in the dirt. Bruno, big feats were here. If I get video, I'll be famous. Let's go. <laughs> we're hunting big feats. Want to help? <laughs> There's no such thing. <laughs> it's two. We've seen their tracks, heard their grunts. Come on, Bruno. Let's get proof. <laughs> <laughs> what goofs? As if strange tracks and grunts mean there are mysterious creatures hiding in the... <gasps> oh, no! They won't find big feats, but they might find turbozoars. Quick, we need to lead them away from the base. These make great dino prints. Wait, what if they don't see these? Boris said they heard noises too. This'll get their attention. Come on. Huh? Huh? Hear that, Bruno? Big feats must be close by. Get your camera ready. Does the door need some oil? That wasn't the door. Sounds like it came from where we were just playing. Let's check it out. What are you doing here? We heard strange noises. You okay? We are. You might not be. Boris and Bruno are hunting mythical creatures that don't exist. 
what you do and... <gasps> They're coming! You better hide back at the base! We'll lead them away! <laughs> I didn't think big feats were that tall! <laughs> oh no, dead end! It's gonna get us! Let's climb! It's tall, but not that tall! <laughs> it can't get up! But how do we get down? I didn't think that far ahead! Someone! What happened? Who was shouting? Fell in mud. Wait, what shouting? Help! Anybody! We're trapped! Is that Boris? Why is he calling for help? He and Bruno must be in trouble. We're gonna need help! Go, go, Turbozors! We need to rescue Boris and Bruno, but first we have to find them. Big feats can stay mythical. I don't want to be famous that badly. I found your mythical creature, Hunters. Look! Anki, can you reach them up there? Sorry, I'm tall, but not that tall. If I cut these into timber, we can build an escape chute with them. Nothing is impossible. Make this? Who cares? Me first! Find any big feats? Wait, why are you two so messy? Uh, we were joking about big feats. Everyone knows they aren't real. But we found a cool slide in the forest. You should check it out. <laughs> Book it. Ah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Looking good. Am I right? Uh. Uh. Hold on. Something's happening. Bookmobile's here. What kind of book would you like this time, sweetie? A fairy tale? Ah. Pirates? Ah. Or a story about outer space? Ah. Well, let's see what the Bookmobile has for us. Thanks for coming, Mr. Hall. There's some lemonade inside for you. Many books to choose from. <sighs> what did you get? Clyde Cowabunga, Surfer Detective. I should have known. <laughs> what? Hey! Grandma! The bookmobile's moving! 
Grandma! Stop! Stop! <laughs> We've got to stop that bus. Go, go, Turbozords! Joe, you're the fastest. You go get Peter and Katie. Yeah! Hop in. <laughs> okay, we caught up to it. Now what? How about I pull up to the door and your grandmother can just jump into my back seat? Joe, you can't ask our grandmother to jump out of a moving vehicle. You're right. I guess we'll call that plan B. More like plan N, as in never. <laughs> hey, there's Jerry! <laughs> Jerry, watch out! Huh? Oh, I, uh, meant to do that. <laughs> I'm sure you did. But if we're gonna stop this bookmobile, we're going to need some help. And help is on the way. Coming up. As long as this bus is going downhill, it'll be impossible to stop. Nothing's impossible. If we can't stop it going downhill, let's get it to go uphill. Great idea. Jerry, get Chuck and Unky. We need a rush job on an emergency exit ramp. Thor, we're gonna need a 30 degree incline. Chuck, use the safety rails to line the ramp. I'll use my tow cable to guide the bus onto the ramp. Mr. Hall, I think I'll check out these. And as for Florian, Todor the truck goes to town. <laughs> Although, a talking truck seems a little far-fetched. <laughs> yeah, talking trucks. Ridiculous. <laughs> now, Mr. Hall. <laughs> <laughs> the road to happy birthday. Oh my, look at the rain. Hope this stops before your birthday tomorrow. Can't wait for Grandma's cinnamon roll sheet cake. It's the perfect birthday cake. Oh, that's a shame. Well, I'll just try to make do with what I have. The store can't deliver the ingredients for Florian's cake. A landslide blocked the road. <laughs> something we can do, Grandma. Oh, my. Really? That would be wonderful. Give us your list, Grandma. We'll get everything you need. <gasps> Nothing is impossible. Is the rain over? That thunder was scary. It was like the sky was yelling at me, and I didn't do anything. Nobody take a picture of me with this mess. I'll look terrible. Yo, Turbozors! Hey? 
You guys get through the storm okay? Yeah, just made a mess. We just finished cleaning. Perfect! We need your help. Phew, you sure do need our help. I'll need Bull, Unky, Chuck, and Thor to clear the road. What about us? What are we going to do? We're going shopping, and I need Joe to get us over that landslide. If it's shopping, I'm there. Go, go, Turbo <laughs> Follow me! Yahoo! Punch it, Joe! Chuck, you handle the boulders and trees. Unky and Thor, you work with me clearing the dirt and mud. Okay, I get to work with Thor. <sighs> yeah, and I get to be covered in mud. Another landslide. The hill doesn't look very solid. We need a wall. Can you turn those trees into posts, Chuck? One retaining wall coming up. some special friends. Happy birthday, Florian! What a perfect day, right, Turbozors? It's about to get better! <laughs> Florian loved your gift, so he wanted you to have this. Who's hungry for cinnamon roll sheet cake? Plastic Fantastic! Water bottle! First one there gets it! <laughs> That was mine! You said, first one gets it. It's ours now. We're getting the most plastic and we're gonna win! <laughs> Snarly's Big Adventure! <laughs> <laughs> Too bad there's no prize for second place, losers! Thinking what I'm thinking? 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure, we'll help. Sounds like fun. The roads will be much more beautiful. I don't like ugly streets. <laughs> Sounds like an easy job. I like easy jobs. Can I play the game too, when you win it? Sure, we'll all take turns. I'll get a drone's eye view on the plastic. I'll stay here and sort the colors. So let's go, go, Turbozors! Plastic spotted! Come on, Thor! We struck it rich! <laughs> hey! It's raining plastic bottles! Wow! There's like 70 billion plastic things out here! Huh? <laughs> Monkey shoots! He scores! <laughs> <laughs> I look so good recycling. I got it. <laughs> Too bad we're not recycling banana peels. This is enough to fill the bag. That's terrible! Wow, it's totally trashed! This used to be a great playground. We've got to do something about it. Mm -hmm. So, can you make them? It's going to take all the plastic you've collected. We'll lose the Snarly. Only one kid at a time can play that game. Everybody can use the playground. So let's build a playground. Yeah! Take all this back to the base. We can recycle this, too. <laughs> Sweet. Recycled playground equipment from a recycled playground. I loaded the picture up on the internet. Kids should be here in no time. Good job, Turbozors. Time to go. Have fun, guys. <laughs> What's with the high five? Huh? Congratulating yourselves for being losers? Yeah, we won the Snarly Game. You collected plastic to win a one-player game. We used our plastic to make this. And everyone can play on it. Who's the winner now? <laughs> huh? Here, you play Snarly. I'm getting on that new slide. 